Oh hi, a quick video to let you know that if you're anything like me and you've been hoarding OBS Studio plugins, then you probably ran into that issue where OBS will have a new version out and you will be too scared to update. I just wanna let you know that I feel you, I hear you, I see you. Also, you like my OBS logo projector here? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Anyways, just to prove you that you're not alone, I recently installed something to help me with this. And I really wanna show you just how many plugins I have that are not up to date. Look at that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And keep in mind that in order to record some previous videos, I actually had to update a couple of them. Something else that's been happening is people telling me they watch my tutorial and when they go to do the stuff that I do, they realize that the plugin is slightly different. Some options are missing or different. Let me be 100% with you, um, that's my fault. That's most likely I'm using an outdated version of that plugin. Anyways, it all happens right here on streamup.tips. I've been really recommending this website for the past couple of days because, well, I was sleeping on it, not gonna lie. There's a bunch of cool stuff, but we're focused on that plugin updater. So if you go all the way to the top here, you're gonna see something called OBS plugin. You wanna click on that, and this is what you will download. So you can click download for free. It might ask you to make an account. I recommend it. Now, this is a pay what you want. So if you would like to give tips, you can give them here. Otherwise, click submit order. And now you can click go to your downloads and you'll find it there. Click download and top right, it's downloading the zip file. Inside the zip file, you will find the Windows installer. If you're on Windows, just double click on that install it, click install. I already have it installed. So next time you open up OBS, you're going to see this page. It's gonna tell you if you have anything that is out of date. Otherwise, up top, you're gonna to have an extra stream up tab where you can find check OBS plugin updates. And that's it. Now, what happens if we click download here? 3D effect, for example, I'm gonna click download and it's gonna automatically download a zip file and then open it for me. And all I have to do is basically place those in my OBS directory and it will update the 3D effect plugin. So you can see here we have data and OBS plugin. So basically you would copy this, find your OBS and paste them in there without deleting the previous folders, okay? So OBS would be C, program files, OBS Studio, and you can see data here, and also OBS plugin. Easy clap. All right, now I just have to do this with the rest and uh, my OBS will be up to date. And I will no longer fear updating OBS. It's funny because I remember I kept complaining that some of my plugins weren't working. And this is because I wasn't updating them. Face Tracker, for example, hasn't worked for me in so long. <laughs> oh, never mind, it works now. <laughs> it actually works now. It actually works with the with the mask, which is pretty interesting. All right, I stand corrected. I'll still update it though. 